Welcome back to Unwrap, where today we've been scratching the surface on pet treat secrets. And one common cat craving is this right here. It is catnip. And we're about to burst the bubble on how it drives kitty Ow. crazy. When it comes to catnip, they scratch, claw, or bend over backwards. Now, your feline friends can go bonkers over bubbles. That's because the folks at Worldwise have come up with bubble nip, turning catnip into storms of suds. We take our certified organic catnip and there's a way that we process it so that we can actually get it in a liquid form into the bubbles. Exactly how they do it is top secret, but bubbles are just the latest way to be kind with catnip. This natural herb of the mint family isn't a new phenomenon. It's been around for ages. Legend has it that the ancient Egyptians actually used catnip as a culinary herb in their salad. And since they loved their cats so much, they actually started feeding it to their cats. I'll tell you from my own personal experience, it's not bad. It's the scent of the oil in the plant that makes catnip the perfect smelling treat. While most kitties sniff, others chew, releasing more of that sacred scent. But only a certain percent of felines think it's the cat's meow. 70 to 90 percent of cats actually have a gene that makes them respond to catnip. And it's not just house cats who crave catnip. It's actually all size cats, from, from your cat all the way to a mountain lion, literally. But how in the world did Worldwise decide to break it down into bubble form? We're always looking for interesting ways to um, create a, a healthy and happy and fun relationship between cat owners and cats. This particular case, a customer actually recommended it to us. We don't want to burst your bubble, but this bubbling isn't for everyone. Some cats respond by playing and jumping and swatting at it. Other cats run the other direction. In any case, you're bound to get a reaction. Sometimes when the bubble, when the bubble bursts, you get a little oomph. But don't worry, curiosity won't kill the cat. We have not heard of any cases of cats overdosing on catnip. And while bubbles are flying high now, time will only tell what will be the next cat craze? The pet industry itself is about a $20 billion a year industry. And I, I can't tell you for sure what percentage of that is catnip, but we know it's growing. While we're used to seeing cats go cuckoo for catnip, did you know humans can crave their fair share as well? It's actually used as a calming tea, and some people even say it's great for colicky babies. Thanks for watching. See us again next time when we unwrap more secrets behind America's favorite foods. I'm Mark Summers.